Man, all right, guys, what's up? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarfuche, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry I had to end the video early on the other one. Let's see, come on, refresh. Am I live? Yes, I'm live. Mm. That's not my phone. All right, here we go. Try this again. What's up, Edgar? How you doing? You must be thumbs up number one because I'm number two. And here we go. <clears throat> All right, good morning, guys. Good morning. Sorry I made the rookie mistake of starting the info uh, up and down instead of side to side so I can get the full screen on there. But I'm going to go ahead and get this started up. Man, we got quite a bit of y'all. Daryl, Hyman, John, Sean. Let's see. Voodoo Craig in the house. And real quick, guys, just want to give a little shout out and a quick little prayer to the guys, the truckers that are stuck along the highway with Hyman out there. It says there's over 200 trucks that have been stuck out there. Don't know how long, it, how much longer it's going to be. Um, but these are these guys are out there. Definitely risking their lives to do their job to get, you know, keep America moving with transporting the items they have in their trucks to and from. And uh, they're out there right now, stuck out along the highway because there's so much snow and ice there that they can't even get through safely. So definitely a um, big shout out. And like I said, keep them in your prayers um, as hopefully the roads can clear and they can get moving. Um, they are getting some support with food and fuel to keep running. Um, but again, guys, you know, hopefully nobody gets hurt and they can all make it through safely as well as for all the volunteers, giving them a helping hand. Um, again, guys, hi, man. We got you in our prayers, bro. We'll definitely be, keep rooting for y'all and y'all, y'all be safe out there and stay warm. I know it's cold, but so, um, we'll see what's up. Um. <clears throat> yeah he sent me a video and man it is crazy you can see it's completely whited out um or it's a complete white out should i say but now we're we're here oh getting ready these guys are getting ready for a big drum tournament this weekend which i definitely would like to rock and roll with them but i gotta see what's up i got things in motion a lot of things in motion right now and I know we gotta see what what the dealio is. Um, where's the where's the uh, tournament uh, boundaries and stuff? Coast. The whole coast. Oh wow. Oh, mm. coast. There we go. Well, yeah. how much is entry and all of that? Fifty dollars entry, two rod, two rod max. Fifty dollar entry, two rod max. Mm. And you gotta go live to the. Yeah, to do that. Hey, uh, so what was the winner out of y'all's tournament? I caught, I caught a 44 on the last day of the tournament, but I had totally forgotten that it was still going on. So I didn't even, I didn't get in or anything like that. You know what I mean? I told her about it. I said, shit. It's a small finish. I mean, that's a very beautiful finish. Mm hmm. Yeah, I did a 42 and a half and a 44. And that, actually, that was when I was out there with uh, Beach Bomber, Beach Bomber Fishing. It was right at the end of the, the trip or whatever, or something like that. So. <clears throat> oh no, no, it was, it was a day, several days before that when I went out with me and my guys. We went out there and we caught 42s. That 144. Uh, oh yeah, we caught a bunch of 42s. <laughs> all right all right it happens 
Yeah, no, I was still. That was my first trip to Goose Island since my surgery. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yep. Total, total left hip replacement. I'm, I'm stretching it every day. I'm stretching a little more and more. Um, yeah. Oh, a lot better. Like I don't have pain in the joint anymore. Now it's just all the muscle recovery from being stretched out and opened up in ways they should be. They're not normally used to ever being, you know. So, but definitely, you know, a lot better. Yeah. Oh yeah. The cast is improving too. <laughs> My cast? <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> We got Toby, Brandon, Dan Danielle. How you doing, guys? Ray, what up? What up? What up? All right, you're just casting this, right? Yes. All right. Well, we're gonna stop there. I don't know what all that little white stuff is. I wonder if that's the the paint they put on there, but you can see it. See all them spots. Yeah, there. See, all over the place. I don't know. Diamond Gen 3 right there, but it is filled up, and I've got 364 yards. This is 100 pound, right? Yep. On an LX. Wow. Should have been way more. But you got it. You should. You're ready. You're ready. <laughs> 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 Crazy. I know there you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, so you're saying he, he overjudged you yeah, less. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. He's overcompensated. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it. it you ain't oh. gotta do that now and then. No. You don't want it? No. Okay. Alright. I still gotta put some kind of deal to. Hold the line in place. So. Yeah, that's fine. You just tie it over. All right. Mm, oh, get it off of there. All right, guys. What up, Henry? How you doing, boss? There we go. There's that. All right. All right. Let's see. Okay. Let me see if this does this right. Hold on, real quick, guys. No, is it going to be upside down? No, nope, it fixed itself. Good deal. Awesome. All right. Yeah, I like I like my camera set up this way because obviously on the phone you have a correct way up to be up and a correct way to be down. And for me, it's just 25. Uh, being able to put it on my, my recording device and get a good angle. What did you do? Um, Allows it to be at the height I like, I'm normally used to, so. Hey, give me a second, guys. Can't find my little holder here. Get this on a holder before I can do anything. I don't want to leave this sit down. Give me a second. <clears throat> Actually, we might have a little to chill and look for. There's one. Miss second, I'm helping out Team Real Locos get some gear ready for the tournament. They're going to go out and try and catch some crab. So.
uh, take off over there and have somebody put me on shore. Just don't tell him he's going to put the blade in the back of your truck because you'll see my truck and see what happens. No, no, I didn't. Okay, put the lead in the back of your truck. All right. All right, guys. So, I so good. I'm not going to put no lead in my truck either because you're filling it. <laughs> All right, hold on real quick. Let me see. We're going to, okay, change of plans real quick. Uh, these guys, they got an extra truck. They're going to help me uh, move uh, my block of lead off of the trailer. So y'all going to see how we kind of do this real quick. All right. And I can't see your comments just yet, guys, but... Show y'all what's got going on. have a jack with me. Alright, somehow my holder while doing this is, yeah, it's in a bind right now. Let's see. 
You don't you have a board yet? Uh not with me. Oh look, look. Never mind. There you go. Oh he got it. Oh sweet. I'll say how the hell did it even get wedged up in there like that? Did you push it down? So we lucked out on that. That was becoming a pain in the butt right there. Uh, but what we're going to end up doing is we're going to go and get on the water for a little bit. After we get this block of lead off. Hold on. Hold on. No, we're gonna load up the, the kayak so we go pick up the traps. All right, so what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna move this block of lead off my trailer so that way we can use the trailer to move the kayak so that way we can go and check our crab pots because we haven't done it in a few weeks. So we're hoping that we can, one, salvage my gear because Captain Eric took it out there and has not gone back to go get it off the water because his truck's been broke down and stuff like that. But um, also too, we need some crab or they need some crab for the incoming, uh, big black drum tournament that is this weekend. And, uh, well, this would be a great opportunity for us to get some on the water footage. And go from there. So, all right, let me get back on this. We're gonna put it on a uh, strap around one of them, both. I don't know. Give me a second.
I'm here working today. Got uh, Team Real Locos right there. Mr. Tony giving us a hand. So we're going to get that going.
get it off of here then we'll get my kayak loaded up on the trailer and we'll have my guys start rigging it up so that way they can start melting it down right there Father son moment, teaching them how to drive. cutting with the American Fisher wire. However, we need to get this block of lead off of here, so we're going to be doing a little transformation real quick while they're doing that. So stand by. Let's see. Oh, let me see. You got the ring on the... Oh, I flip it the other way. Hold on. Okay. 
Yeah, go on top of the top right there. You need that? No, I don't need that. No, Nico's taller than me, guys. He's already got me beat by at least three inches. Yep. Uh, the tournament is, starts tomorrow at 7 a.m. and ends on Sunday? 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. on Sunday. Yeah. Right. Tell them how to get in because they're, they're asking about it. Uh, you can go to Team Hookup uh, Facebook page and the flyers on there and get a hold of uh, Amber Cadova. And she will set you up, all right? But you have to go live on her page when you catch a fish and everything. Okay, all the rules are there as well. Uh, just go to the team hooked up page, and her cash app is on the deal, and you should be able to get hooked up there, all right?
The kayak, bro. The <laughs>
Not the red No, not the red one. Get that out of there. because we're about to hit <laughs> we're about to hit the road and then we'll get we'll go and get some more video footage for you on something hey, like that. gonna come by here who Hector Vargas okay I gotta got give him the rod oh he wanted my rod oh okay so. all right we're out these guys I'll talk all to y'all right. later stay tuned we got a lot more info coming y'all's way yeah that's fine that's fine just put in a better truck